Hi, my name is Melinda Lee. Emma Hankins. And I'm Vili. And we started this campaign, Bear Support All Bears, to address the inequity female athletes received at the attendance at their games. As a student athlete, I've experienced many of these inequities. With basketball, there's been zero students in the student section. And after we started this campaign, we've had upwards of 30 or 50 students. So the increase has been really great. Um, before, we, there wasn't very many students in the student section. We had to create our own energy. It was basically a silent gym. And in comparison to guys, it was like, a crazy amount. I mean, they had like hundreds and hundreds of students. So um, th that's where this campaign really started, was where like I, me and another friend felt the inequity we were having. So then we wanted to take that and bring it to DECA. And then we brought it to DECA and we started this campaign. So as the project managers of Bears Support All Bears, we really wanted to get the community involved and as many students involved as possible because the community is who we are trying to reach. Um, with that, we had a large student base from our DECA chapter and one of the really amazing things that we did not anticipate was um, having almost like half of con the contribution to our events and project activities were being from male students. And so having that kind of um, demographic, like coming to volunteer for our events, like at the Bears Are, we had a booth with um, a poster board and we handed out flyers and talked to lots of um, local businesses, business owners about our project and what we're trying to do. That was a really great um, way to reach our broader community. And another type of event we did was hosting um, like contest events at games, such as a free throw contest at a girls basketball game and a um, handstand contest at um, a local gymnastics meet, our school gymnastics meet. And at both of those events, we um, secured sponsorships from local businesses that we got from three, and we were able to produce t-shirts and stickers and um, have gift cards as like prizes to our contests. And so having those incentives was also one way that we were able to attract a larger crowd to our um, events. Yeah, but also outside of our school, we wanted to spread awareness to the greater community. So we did a lot of social media marketing. Um, we collaborated with our Marketing 2 classes and all of the students created a sort of informational infographic about um, important female athletes in history. And we titled the series Her Story and we posted it on our social media, mostly Instagram. Um, we also did Athlete of the Week, which is um, a female Sorry, we did a female athlete of the week, which just highlights one female athlete every week and they're nominated by their peers. And we also did a post about upcoming games because a major inequity we noticed was that the sports schedules for women's sports were never updated. So we tried to tackle that. Hi, I'm Jen Fabricius. I'm the marketing teacher and DECA advisor at Olympia High School. Um, and if you aren't aware, DECA is a leadership organization for marketing students to really put into practice the skills that they're learning in marketing and apply them to different industries like um, business, finance, hospitality, sports entertainment, all kinds of um, business and marketing related careers. What I love about this project and what these girls did is they really implemented project management skills that you would use in any career. So they were managing a budget, they were managing a timeline, they were doing quality control, they were getting others involved in their project. Over half of our 90 members were involved in this project in some way, which is really impressive that they were able to get that kind of support from our chapter. So I think a big part of the behind the scenes operations of this project was putting the project management process into action. We did, um, we at the end of, you know, at state, we ended up getting our project management ready certifications um, by applying, uh, which was like a certification test um, about all the things we learned throughout the project. And we submitted this project as our DECA competitive event and ended up placing fourth at state and competing at the international level conference. 
So we've heard a lot of positive feedback from lots of students and staff. We heard great comments from Mr. Grant, our principal, Mr. Idens, our athletic director, multiple of our vice principals, and just lots of staff in general. Yeah, from an athlete perspective, we've definitely felt the energy um, and athletes feed off of that and we ha uh, have a better performance. So our overall goal with this project is to create a more inclusive and positive school culture around women's sports and uh, making um, all athletes feel a sense of belonging at our school. We, this year we were able to gain a lot of traction and we hope that this movement is something that will continue building on going into next school year. We are definitely always looking for students who want to get involved or take on a project manager role. And so if, you're, if that's something that you might be interested in or someone you know might be interested, definitely come visit our Instagram page. I am really proud of our students for taking on an issue that really is going to positively impact the culture at our school and I'm really excited to see where this movement goes in the future. Go Bears! Go Bears! Oh my gosh, yes, go Bears.